Well, hello, 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 everybody. And happy hump day. I don't know why I cannot remember today is hump day. So, it's about 6.30 in the evening. And I had appointments all day today. And went to go um, see my neuro. And when I was waiting out in the in the office, in his office, or out in the lobby, you know, waiting to be called back, I started getting this really, really, really sharp pain on my right side of my stomach, um, kind of underneath my ribs, you know, where my ribs stop. And um, just um, super, super, super sharp. And, and you know, you know, I have a, high, a very high pain tolerance. So, you know, and in the year that I've been seeing him, even when I'm in terrible pain. They don't know because I'm still smiling and happy and I'm used to it. And so, um, like he does, he does his exam and the, or, you know, or the usual step and I, I'm, I'm literally like rocking back and forth. And he said, do you mind if I examine you? And I said, no, that's fine. So he's, you know, does it hurt here? Does it hurt here? Does it hurt here? Didn't hurt anywhere except that one spot on the, on my right side. And he touched it, and I about went through the roof. And um, at first, he was thinking, wondering maybe if I had gallstones. And I said, well, I don't have a gallbladder anymore. So, um, so yeah, he said, um, we're not renewing your chemo. We're not renewing anything. Um, in fact, we're not even going to finish this appointment or exam until um, he said, I want you, I want one of the nurses to take you downstairs, because he's on the 11th floor, downstairs to, um, to the ER. And he said, and we need to get some scans and some other stuff, see what's going on. And I said, okay. So she takes me downstairs and, um, you know, he's like, they should see you like within 30 minutes to an hour. And she pretty much said the same thing, less than that. That was at like 12.45, 1 o'clock. I came upstairs at 6 and I was down there rocking back and forth in pain. My stomach hurt so freaking bad. That literally other people that were sitting around me that were way that were there to see a doctor as well were going to the desk and saying um that, that little girl one lady said that, that little girl I was like little oh, girl i'm almost 50 years old um but she, they were like that little girl is I'm like she's gonna pass out from pain so having the extreme pain tolerance that i have and then to be rocking back and forth you know my level four if somebody else is 26 so i don't know sorry i drank some of this crap or whatever she is my stuff as much as i can in 30 minutes and then they're going to start scanning my belly so i don't know what it is um it, originally they were wondering appendix but I, f I felt like it was too high to be my appendix, which surely it is. I'm hoping it is, so I don't think that's what it is. Because y'all know I'm not staying in the hospital, and I'm not having any more damn surgeries. I'm done, so. But, um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's just, and it's just in one spot. Like, somebody's just stabbing me repeatedly. Nothing else. Um, no fever. I mean, you know, I always have nausea and vomiting because of where my brain tumor is. Um, but that didn't get worse. It just the stabbing and 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 it's like in one direct spot. It's not like all over. It's boom. And um, yeah, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. So, but anyways, yeah. So that's pretty much my Wednesday. And I was actually going to try to go home early today, like go back to Dallas, DFW. But that didn't work. So now I have to go see my doctor in the morning that I didn't get to see today. Well, I think I saw him, but you know. Not for my regular appointment. So, um, haven't gotten my next month's worth of chemo. I'm supposed to do that today. In fact, he said he wasn't even he wasn't even going to call it into the pharmacy until um, um, um. Sorry, y'all, hang on. Oh, until they found out what was going on with it. So, I said whatever, but um. Anyway, so yeah, so that's pretty much that. So I just thought I'd let y'all know what was going on, where things were sitting. So, but, um, anyway, so yeah, we're going to come in, do some scans. 
hopefully it's nothing. Um, one of the doctors that came to see me downstairs, he was naming a bunch of things it could be too, and he said something about just bad spasms. I'm like, shoot, I hope that's what it is. But um, I thought, dang, I've never had it. I rarely have spasms anywhere, but dang, if a spasm causes that much pain, mm -mm, that's, not, that's not nice. So, but um, yeah. So, anyways, but um, so once she got my IV started in here, she gave me a little bit of pain though, so that's help. I can still feel it, but it's taking at least the extreme pain part of it off. But it's just, I hate doing crap like this. I hate ERs. I hate because, in fact, as soon as they told me to get in a gown, I said, this may be a stupid question, but I need to ask it. You're only making me get into a gown to like, uh, for the x rays and I'm mean, about to with the scans and all that and CAT scans. And I said, not because y'all are like, think you're going to admit me, right? Because I said, I'm not one like hell if you think you are. <laughs> I said, uh uh, no, no, don't do it. This, this right here is why I don't do ER. And, mm -mm. Oh no, let's just let's run into the ER and make sure everything's okay. Next thing you know, that's in January. Carrie's going home in April. How about that? No. So, but anyways, but I love you guys and I will keep you posted. So, what a great hump day. Yay. What day is it? It's a sucky day. <laughs> so, bye. Love y'all. Love y'all.